and welcome to First Friends. I'm joined here today with... Mary. And Tom Stevenson. Mary and Tom are known for their impeccable sense of style, Mary's extensive hat collection, and their amazing community service. Can you tell us a little bit about you guys? Well, we've been married 73 years. Going on 74 and now the 5th of August will be 74 years. Wow. And I think we've been at First Methodist for, what, 30 years, Steve? A long time. 30 years. <laughs> That's amazing. I lo love all the people there. They're always so nice to us. Well, I've, I've enjoyed myself there at First Methodist. All the, I got, all, got along with all the pastors and the, de the staff and everyone. That one was really nice to me. It was kind of, we kind of worried as whether people would accept us at the church, but they, they were all always nice to me. And I enjoyed cooking, and I was so happy I could work in the kitchen. <laughs> so you work in the kitchen? What else have you guys been involved with uh, over the years? What? Well, oh, you go ahead. Oh, I was a president for the Methodist man for a couple of times. I went to conferences. I had a few other different jobs in the conference, and I enjoyed it very much. Okay, great. I always enjoyed working with Sam and in my circle. And I started at Fish in, uh, uh, what? 90, 1991. 1991. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. I'm on the Fish board. Have you guys always lived in the St. Charles area, or did you move here? I lived in O'Fallon during my high school days. I would ride a bus from O'Fallon to St. Charles to go to high school. Okay. And my, my family knew his family and always been friends, but he graduated before I did. <laughs> um, then we started dating and I waited for him when he went to service in the 40s. And then when he came out of service in 1950, we got married. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Will you tell us a little bit more about your family? Oh, um, I have, uh, we have 12 grandchildren. Wow. And I think... Uh, That'll keep you busy. Six, six great-grandchildren. So do you guys have any hobbies or anything you like to do in your free time? Well, I love, I love to be involved in different things, you know, and stay involved in a lot of different organizations and different things like that. I belong to the Red Hats. Uh, the Circle. I've been in the uh, American Legion Auxiliary for 72 years. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, it's uh, you know, if you belong to different artists, you get to meet a lot of different good people. You know, you're this way, if you don't, I belong to somebody, I couldn't tell you what I belong to. He has a list that long. <laughs> <laughs> he belongs to everything he can uh -huh. belong to. <laughs> That's good. Stay busy. Mm -hmm. Everyone is dying to know. Tell us a little bit more about your hats, Mary. How well, did you get into that? Like, where did this begin? It began uh, when I was in, growing up and living in O'Fallon. I was Baptist, and Baptist ladies wore hats. That's how I started. But when I married him, I said, we can't support two churches. So I decided I still keep wearing hats and go to the Methodist church. All right. <laughs> That, that's, yes. how I, that's how it started. I hear you don't even walk to the mailbox without your hat on. Is that certainly true? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly know. I certainly Underdressed don't. for that. I have to have a hat to match. Y'all almost always match on Sunday morning. <laughs> Try to. Who gets to decide what you're going to wear? Sometimes he does. <laughs> <laughs> and you dress to match him then? I try to, but most okay. I, have, I have more than he has. <laughs> yeah. Last question, what would you say that your faith means to you? Well, it helps you, it helps you live every day that, that you feel like, oh, what can I do today that is beneficial? What can I, I I'm, I'm slow at doing anything. But I, I love to be involved. What do your faith mean to you, honey? Well, you got me. Yeah, I know you got faith. <laughs> well, I, I've had faith all my life and it's going through. I mean, I've, you got to think what faith is. You know, faith is something that everybody has to believe to have faith. You can't 
do without. If you don't believe in it, you won't have it. And uh, you figure you're gonna, how you gonna live and what are you gonna do? Or I try to do it every day. I try to think of something different to do. I do one thing every day, you know. Marley always says, how come grandpa's always right? <laughs> See, they know, sometimes they don't wanna listen, but sometimes, you know, they find out We've been there. None have done that. You know, we know something out there about life. 